Yeah, I didn't really consider stuff other than university. Like, I thought about it for a second, and I'm like, college might be interesting, and I, like, chatted with my parents about stuff like that, but they're like, you've always been a very academic person. Like, you get very good grades in school, so we think you would get frustrated if you did, like, a program like that and then found a job that wasn't as intellectually demanding Hmm. as you may be used to. Oh, okay. And so you might like not be living up, you wouldn't be living up to your full potential. Hmm. And I, so I agree. Somewhat, yeah. There's other, there's definitely other ways to use your intellect, but if you can get paid for it, then <laughs> that's a, a decent, a decent way to spend your brain, I guess. Yeah, even the way you describe it, it it's a strange thing that I found is that most of the people, like teachers or parents, they kind of look down on a lot of the other options. Like if you don't go to university, it's lesser. Like what you just said, like you're not living up to your full potential if you don't get a degree at university. Yeah. If you go to college or do an apprenticeship or something. Yeah, exactly. That's that's very common. Yeah, I always found it super weird because I'm like, what if you're really smart but just want to go to college and you take college level courses? That's Even the, the teachers would sort of be like, Oh, I think you can handle it at university. Like, I don't think you need to go to college or like college level or anything, which was it was very odd to yeah. hear. But yeah, so I think it shouldn't be divided like that. I think it should be purely based on what you plan on doing as your future career. Obviously, not a hundred percent because most people, even in until like grade twelve, don't know what they want to do. Yeah. But just sort of based on like, do you want to have a more research based or teaching based job or like very numbers based which would be university or do you want to work more like with people and more like applied and hands-on stuff which would be college or do you want to do like a trade or something like that like plum or whatever then you do locally developed Mm -hmm. i think it would be nice to have a little transition towards that way yeah, I don't know how you could take the almost like hierarchy of intelligence out of it though. A lot That'd of a nice. lot of it was just from the students as well. That's true. A lot of it was students. Like teachers would say, "Hey, this is an option," but no one really took that seriously. Yeah, I think because like it it was seen as like, oh, if you you're in university immersion French, oh, you're pretty smart. You're pretty good at school, <laughs> which is unfortunate. I think because. Looking back, if I know if I knew what I know now, I would have given college a much harder look. I, I've never like tried it, but from what I've heard, I think I'd enjoy it a lot more. Because college is like actually yeah. doing the thing that you want to do, like learning it, how to it, do the job. It, it does sound a lot more. It sounds more structured than university, at least from what I've heard. Because I don't think there's a college course anywhere. I might be very wrong. I haven't really looked into it, but I don't think there's a college course anywhere. That's 40% midterm, 60% final exam. There, I, they seem to be a lot more like multiple projects, multiple tests sort of mm-hmm. thing, which I think is nice. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. university seems to be purely like, okay, read the book, do the test. That's what you're here for. That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's which entirely is it. kind yeah. of whack. It really is. Yeah, it, it's a real pain. So yeah, I, I really wish there was... I don't know, more of an emphasis on that it's really, like, as good of an option. I don't know how yeah. you could do that, because, like you said, with all the students, everyone said, oh, yeah, you're going to college, ha-ha. You, <laughs> it's yeah. not as smart. Not as smart. <laughs> is ridiculous. Like, I've heard from friends in, like, similar programs uh, in university and college, the game design programs at like Carleton and Algonquin. Yeah. And they have universally agreed Algonquin trumps it. It's so much better because you get, you get so much hands-on experience and they have all sorts of uh, programs with actual like gaming companies and stuff. Dang. I uh, know that. Opposed to Carleton, which is just kind of coding. It's just like, hey, you can code now. Great. But do you have any experience doing what you want to do? Yeah. No. Okay, Whereas I'm Algonquin, go. <laughs> like they get you to do like an art course so that you're able to communicate with like graphic designers and a bunch of other stuff like that. And like the program they have, I think the top person is guaranteed like an internship at uh, Ubisoft or something wow. like that. Wow. Holy. Yeah. Something like cool. that. Yeah. So it's a much better program. And 
is really worth like another and buck. It, it's the have. same jobs they're competing for too. And the college program is preparing you better, but much better. Yeah. From if if you would have asked me that in high school, if there were any jobs that you could get hired you would have a better chance of getting hired for from a college course than a university course, I probably would have been like, No. Yeah. What are you talking no, same. About? 